Okay then, guys. This is the desert land uh, located at the northern part of International Drive in Orlando, Florida. Now, desert land has been under two previous names, and that included the Artigan Marketplace, and before that was Festival Bay Mall. And uh, this mall here was only on one floor, so there wasn't any uh, department stores within the mall. It only had, like, cheapo shops. Like, there was one for the road, which was, like, a racing-themed uh, store. And, of course, you had uh, Outdoor World, which is now known as Bass Pro Shops. And this was also where Ron John Surf Shop used to be. And there was even Western Shepplers as well. And uh, to be honest with you, when it was the Festival by Mall, it was deserted. It, uh, there wasn't uh, much activity going on uh, in the mall. It felt like that the mall was on its last legs when I went in. But it did look amazing uh, with the fountains inside the pool area. It looked like a swimming pool, but obviously it was just a normal type of display for people to walk around. Uh, but however, it did feel like it was falling apart. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you inside uh, the uh, the location and see what the crack is uh, going on uh, with this um, uh, location. And to get to Desertland, you have to go along International Drive or you can use the interstate, depending in which area you come in from uh, in Florida. And uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you inside the Desertland and see what has changed since I last went in uh, from when it was under the Festival Bay Mall because I remembered it being the Festival Bay back in the good days. Here we go. So the Desertland uh, location opened originally in 2002 as part of the Bells Factory Outlets property because obviously the Bells uh, Factory Outlet location was adjacent, uh, well, opposite uh, this uh, place here. And the Bells Factory Outlet was then renamed to Orlando Prime Outlets and then renamed to the Orlando International uh, Premium Outlet. So it, so the outlets uh, opposite had changed over the years, and this one had changed as well. First, with it being Festival Bay, and then changing uh, to uh, the Artigan Marketplace, and now known as Desertland. And obviously the facade looks amazing. It's very well themed, because when it was... Uh, the previous uh, occupancies, it did feel like it needed a bit of TLC, but obviously, look at it now, it feels like it's a world-class attraction. And obviously, you wouldn't find much of the popular iconic rides in this uh, facility compared to the ones at the world's class theme parks, which are further away, which includes the nearby Universal Studios, Islands of Venture, Sea World and all the other Orlando attractions. But it is an amazing location to be over in Florida. And now we are going into Bass Pro Shops, formerly known as Outdoor World. Now, this Bass Pro Shops 
is a massive, massive outdoor store. And a little bit of an American version to the UK version of independent outdoor stores. And also the American version of Ultimate Outdoors. And as you can tell, this shop here is so huge. Now, back in my day, I used to give this place a nickname called The Hunting Shop. That's because there was a hunting there's a hunting department within the uh, store itself. And it just looks amazing. Anyway, this is the inside of the shop itself. And now to the elevator in the shop. And this is the Montgomery Coney elevator. And this one is so awesome. Now, as you know, there is a mezzanine floor uh, within this store. And, uh, however, the mezzanine floor seems to now be deserted. But, however, there is no RFID card stopping members of the public using the elevator. So, you know what that means? I have to okay. ride it anyway. Two. Close the doors. Anyway, this is the elevator at Bass Pro Shops at the Desertland International Drive in Orlando, Florida. And this is a Montgomery Coney elevator. Capacity, 2,500 pounds. And this smell here used to be known, this place here used to be known as Festival by Mall and the Arctic and Marketplace. Here we are on level two. Go down to one. That sounds like uh, the Bing Bong Chon on Sainsbury's Tannoy. And this store here was formerly known as Outdoor World, dubbed as The Hunting Shop. That's because they sell hunting products here. Here we are, one, listen to the bell. Get a two. Makes it a two. Bass Pro Shops. Very nice. Here we are, two. Emergency phone. That's it.